Hi folks, in this video we're gonna demonstrate how we can inherit from multiple classes in JavaScript. In my previous video I've gone through um, implementing class extends feature so that um, you can inherit from a single class. Uh, in this video though, we're gonna go one step further and we're gonna inherit from multiple classes. Okay? I've designed a source code here with all the um, different tests and we are going to go through them all in this video. Okay, so this code is about inheriting from multiple classes. Let's say we have two two constructor functions that served as multiple classes in this case. One is called superclass, the other is called other superclass, and they contain one property each in the superclass. There's a property called A with the value 1. In the other superclass, there's a property called B with value 2. And the next lines, we're gonna add uh, a method to both of them's prototype. So first of all, we add method A, which just returns A, and we assign assign it to superclass prototype. So on instance of it, inherits this method. Same thing for the other superclass prototype. We add a method called method B which just returns B and serves the same purpose. The purpose is for each inherit sorry for each in instance to have access to each inherited inherited method. So um, an instance of superclass will have inherited the method A and similarly an instance of other superclass will have inherited the method B. And finally we come to the main my class which will inherit from superclass and other superclass. In lines 12 and 13 um, I've covered this before. The effect of it is from my class you would have access to this A and this B from within the instance of my class. Okay, if I go I already covered this in my previous video but I'll cover it again. The call function works like this. So uh, call the cons constructor function superclass with this set to an instance of my class. So this dot a equals to 1 and this dot b equals to 2 and this is pointing to an instance of my class. So it will become like maybe um, my class dot a and my class dot b. Um, just to aid your understanding. Okay, going going forward. Um, this is a bit tricky, but it just means superclass dot prototype becomes my class dot prototypes prototype. This is same as line nineteen. Okay, I'll say it again. Superclass dot prototype becomes the prototype of my class dot prototype. So the effect is um, from an instance of my class, um, you would have inherited um, method method A in this case. Okay. Um, and 
the method A from the viewpoint of the my class resides in my class dot prototype dot prototype. So, so um, yeah, two levels up. Um, I'm gonna go through with it and I'll explain it. Okay, so the the next lines they just copies content of other superclass dot prototype to my class the prototype the prototype okay so it's copying to the same place as line 17 but the difference is line 17 actually links um, two prototype object together but in line 23 you're just copying the contents or the properties or inside other superclass the prototype into my class the prototype the prototype so there, there's a distinction there and which we'll get uh, get into it more later in this video and the next line this is just um, pointing the constructor of the my class prototype object back to the my class um, class okay this is just a um, normal way a prototype object is defined each prototype object has a property called constructor that points back to its constructor function okay that's all it is and here um, we're gonna add a method called my method onto the my class the prototype which just returns m okay and then we finally create a new instance of my class named new my class okay and then we got whole heap of tests here um, let's start with checking where the properties a and b are indeed inherited by the new my class I remind you A is 1 and B is 2 right and you are trying to access it from an instance of my class where originally those were defined by its super classes so let's run it as you can see you got 1 and 2 so it works right how do I break this you, you break this if you omit um, lines 12 and 13 because lines 12 and 13 enables you to inherit properties from um, the stated superclass so it inherits A and B so that works let's have a look at new my class object or oh, well, yeah on instance of my class let's have a look so as you can see it has a uh, inherited um, properties a and b from the super classes and its prototype points back to my class so this is equal to my class um, dot prototype and as you can see as a consequence of line 27 to 30 prototype of my class has a my method defined in it which is here but I remind you um, the contents of the superclass prototype and other superclass prototype they are residing in one level up the prototype chain so we go up further and as you can see in there you, you find method A which is from here yeah, superclass prototype and method B which is other superclass prototype 
so that's where they reside which will make sense if you go one up one further constructor points to object so it ends there doesn't have any more prototype object beyond that point so everything is good okay okay says check my class prototype is inherited by new class by doing this test so what it does um, is the prototype of the new my class which is an instance of my class pointing to the same my class prototype let's run In, true it, it is okay what about line 17 it is um, well as I said before the line 17 is same as line 19 the um, prototype sorry um, yeah the super class dot prototype becomes the prototype of my class dot prototype okay so um, this test is saying did line 17 succeed all right is the new my class dot proto dot proto pointing to the prototype of superclass as a consequence of line 17 so let's try that and it's true so that's all good the next says my class check if my class the prototype is equal to the new my class the prototype um, so in this case we just um, instead of new my class up here we replace that with my class and see if this test is still true and it is that's good says um, if line 17 um, has gone through correctly then the following is true yeah um, this is a consequence of here yeah, if um, if my class the prototype the prototype is pointing to super class the prototype then its constructor points back to its construct con constructor function which is super class in this case so that's good let's try it it's also true okay the it says the following is false because the content of other superclass dot prototype is copied to my class dot prototype dot prototype. So um yeah, so um this is consequence of line number seventeen and line contrast between line number seventeen and line number twenty three. In line number seventeen we're actually assigning a prototype to a prototype but in line 23 we are copying the content of the prototype onto a prototype so um, this will be false right and it's false okay there's a distinction there okay yeah this is the by definition of what the constructor property is constructor property points back to its constructor function which in this case is my class so this will be true see so this okay okay this is just trying to call method A and method B from 
an instance of my class and this will work and if it does it means that we have done a great thing or an awesome thing we have inherited method A method B from superclass and other superclass into an instance of my class that's amazing let's see if it prints A and B yes it does A and B so it's confirmed inheritance thing works well multiple inheritance okay there are three tests here exploring the same thing so um, instead we this time we use instance of to help clarify okay so I'm saying new my class is an instance of my class and that is true new my class is also an instance of super class that is true but new my class is not an instance of other super class by the reason I have described just before because um, in line 23 we are copying the content of the other super class prototype onto my class the prototype the prototype it's a copying operation it's not a it's not assigning one prototype object to another object this is a copying process okay so we would expect the output to be true false true yep true false true okay very good and lastly we're gonna um, call my method which was defined in lines 27 to 30 and it's um, defined in my class the prototype okay so can you call my, my, my method from you my class you would output M right so let's try M so everything works so very good we've covered all the tests um, I know it's a little bit confusing so I will just end it with revision of what we've said so what does this code actually do um, we got super class and other super class constructor functions with um, properties A and B respectively and then we add method A and method B onto the prototype of superclass and other superclass respectively and then here from the my class constructor function we are gaining access to property A and property B by line 12 and 13 okay what if I break this let's break it if I omit these two calls and try to do this test output new my class dot a and new my class dot b it will be undefined right says so undefined undefined okay how do I fix it just on comment this okay now it's it is um, accessible again that's what it is okay the next step to implementing in multiple inheritance is to first assign a prototype onto a prototype or prototype. Um, you can do it in many other ways, but this is what um, I've made to be neat as possible because if you um, cloud the um, if you cloud the um, my class the prototype with super class the prototype it will get messy right so that's why I'm going up one level further and storing everything there okay and then we are simply copying the content of other super class the prototype onto my class the prototype 
the prototype. So it's getting copied to the same place as line number 17 or line number 19 if you want to be a little bit clearer. Okay, it's actually copying to the same place. Okay, and this is just normal definition of the constructor of a prototype. And then lastly, we adding a, a method to the prototype of my class itself. Okay, and we've covered all the other tests. Let's just um, have a look at its object, what it contains. Okay, so this is um, my new class. Sorry, new new my class. It has a equals 1 and b equals 2. They come from lines 3 and 4. It's inherited. And it says superclass.prototype becomes my class.prototype's prototype. Okay, so this is um, my class and prototype. And you have to go up one level further, all right? There you find um, method A as a consequence of line number 17, okay? And because of line number 23, um, this method B gets inherited. It will no, sorry, it's not inherited. Strictly speaking, method B is copied inside this prototype object, okay? So that's why you end up with both uh, methods available. Method A from superclass.prototype, method B from other superclass.prototype. They're stored in the same place, okay? And here my method is found one level up here. Okay, so that's my class dot prototype. See? Dot met my method. Okay. Um is that all? Yeah, I'll just sh um show you what I mean by trying to be neat. I'll try to be less neat, okay? Right, so let's let's change this a bit. Rather than storing um, method B inside my class the prototype the prototype, why 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 wouldn't I just copy it into my class the prototype? All right, you'll expect to find from my class the prototype. Um, method B as well as my method, All right? So let's see. Okay. Okay, so inside my class you will find not only my method but my met sorry. Try again. Inside my class prototype you'll find not only my method but also my method B because I've changed I've changed line 24 okay so that's what I mean by being messy because you got my method B on here and you have method A one level up the prototype chain okay let, let me just move everything um, one level up oops, sorry one level down I guess I'll just show you what if I change here? What if I change here? Um, do this. Okay. To do that, I guess. Um, right. Um, Does this work? If it doesn't, then okay. 
well, it's a bit confusing, so let's just do it like this. Uh, so you want to store, we'll assign superclass.prototype to myclass.prototype. So you get access to method um, A from myclass.prototype. So let's just do it. So inside my class the prototype you have now have every method method A method B and my method reside. Okay. You modify do like this. Like this. You have guessed it. It will move my method up the prototype chain, right? So let's try. Now my method is here, one level up. Okay, let's f finish by confirming whether uh, the instance of my class can access my method since it's uh, one level up the pro prototype chain. So let's try to unmark this and see if it M output M. Okay, so everything works as expected. Alright, that's it. Um, Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.